Davis, the treasurer of the Law Society. This video blog is to report to you on the work that Convocation has done and the decisions we made last week. Uh, this video blog itself is part of my effort to make the workings of Convocation more transparent and open to all the members and to the public. Um, if you want to, of course, read more or watch Convocation, you can do so as we webcast all of our meetings. Uh, the first thing I want to tell you about is that I've established a new governance task force. I requested the establishment of this uh, task force on governance um, because this was a strategic priority that was set by the ventures last fall to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of our governance process. The task force is going to look at procedural issues within our existing framework and also over time look at broader issues relating to governance. A second thing that I've done to uh, enhanced transparency that I'm hoping will be of interest to many of our members is I have created a Treasurer's Appointments Advisory Group that will be setting criteria and procedures for the external appointments the Law Society makes. We'll be publicizing that and inviting applications to a variety of organizations where the Law Society has the opportunity to appoint um, representatives. Uh, another area where I've also move to enhance transparency is that I have provided to all of Convocation Standing Committee's memoranda that set out their mandate, uh, where they fit in the strategic objectives, and the plans that I have and the goals that I have for my term as Treasurer that I would like to see them fulfill. I've worked with the chairs and vice chairs of the committees on these memos and they're now posted on our website so that everyone can uh, see what we're up to. We've also appointed a mental health strategy task force which will be involved in the implementation of the mental health uh, report that was approved by Convocation last spring. I'm uh, hopeful that that task force will provide um, good policy guidance to our staff as we work towards enhancing the supports for licensees with mental health challenges. We had a couple of reports that were presented to Convocation last week that will be occupying a fair amount of our time over the next couple of months. One of them is the challenges faced by Racialized Licensees Working Group. Uh, this report has presented a number of recommendations after a number of years of very hard work of surveying the profession and analyzing um, challenges that Racialized Licensees face and barriers they face in entering and advancing in the profession. We have a time for comment until early November and I would encourage everyone to read the report and provide comments so that we can have a full uh, view of this matter when it comes back to convocation for decision in December. In the same vein, we also received a report from the Professional Dele Development and Competence Committee relating to the Pathways Pilot and Licensing Process. This committee has recommended that the law practice program end following its third year and again this is a difficult and challenging area and we're asking for comment. It has to be fairly quickly provided because we have to decide this in November but I would urge anybody who's interested in these issues around licensing and competence in the profession to review the report and to provide their comments. Lastly, from a business perspective, uh, Convocation increased the compensation fund limit from $150,000 to $500,000. This is a fund that provides, a limit, uh, provides compensation to individuals who have lost money due to a licensee's dishonesty. And we felt that after reviewing our limits and the size of the claims and the comparable limits in other provinces that it was appropriate to raise uh, the limit to $500,000 and uh, that that will better protect the public and provide compensation where appropriate. Finally, I just want to wrap this vlog up by saying that uh, in October, the Law Society will be hosting its first Access to Justice Week. This will be between October 17th and October 21st. It's organized by the Action Group on Access to Justice at the Law Society and a range of partners and it's going to focus on a lot of innovative issues around technology and collaboration to improve access to justice in Ontario. And you can read more about it on our website. So with that, I want to thank you for joining me. I want to thank you for listening to me. And I want to thank you, hopefully, for being involved and participating in the work of the Law Society. And of course, you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram and read about us and all of the reports I've mentioned at www.lsuc.on.ca. Thank you.